Samuel, first Samuel 17, verse number 58. It reads as follows. <clears throat> Whose son are you, young man? Saul asked him. David said, I am the son of your servant, Jesse of Bethlehem. Tonga translation again. Allow me to talk under the theme that says a healthy mind in a healthy body. A healthy mind in a healthy body. Try by all means as a young person. You must make sure that in your life you have got a healthy mind in a healthy body. Never allow some of things to destroy your body. And never allow some of things to destroy your mind. If your mind is not good, even the body will suffer the consequences. So we need a health mind in a healthy body. Here is a young man called David. At the age of 17, he killed Goliath. He killed Goliath. The giant. The giant that was threatening Israelites. But because this young man have God health mind in a healthy body. He realized that no, I will kill this giant. If I introspect myself, I don't see anything that can hinder me to make this giant fall down. David was having a healthy mind in a healthy body. His brothers and all soldiers of Israelite, they were inferior to Goliath and to the Philistine. But when David arrived, he said, what is this? I'm hearing something strange here. Who is this uncircumcised man who define our soldiers and the, the country? Who insult our soldiers and our God Almighty? I will kill him. So from where we have read, before we arrive here, they took David to Saul and introduced David that no, this man will kill the giant. And Saul replied and said, you are still a young boy. Because Goliath from his young womb He was a fighter and champion. So you will not make it. But after David killing the giant, now we hear the same soul. The one who was despising this young man. There are people who try to despise you. But I call them to watch the space of your life after five years. They will see change. The same soul that was despising David 
is the one who is asking in verse number 58. Whose son are you? Young man, Saul asked David. David said, I am the son of your servant, Yese of Bethlehem. So, is asking this question. After observing something to David, that David managed to kill the giant. And holding the head of the giant as the evidence to Saul. And he said, whose son is you? Whose son are you? And David said, I am the son of Jesse, your servant. What a humble young boy. I am the son of Jesse, your servant. That means my father is your servant. Also myself, I'm your servant. What a humble young man. And again, so say, when you read it, or when you take it uh, from what verse, yeah, you can take it from what verse or 54 or 51 and go down with it. Saul is keeping on asking. Tell me about this guy. I want to know this handsome boy. Now we say handsome boy to Saul. But in the beginning it was a young boy who will not manage to kill the giant. But because now David conquered Goliath, now is a handsome someone before so, and a powerful someone before so. And David said, "I am the son of Jesse, your servant." Young people, live before God. A holy life that, that will make people to ask whose daughter are you? Whose son are you? They must ask. Let them be amazed about your life. Let them see everything being lavish in your life. Hallelujah. Whose son are you? Whose son are you? Let me say to you. Don't allow people to ask you, whose son are you? By seeing bad things upon your life. Because bad company corrupt good things. So make sure that you hang along with people who do things for God. So David managed to kill Goliath because of a healthy mind in a healthy body. Let us possess this healthy mind. If you keep on watching pornographies, you are out of a healthy mind in a healthy body. How many of you watch pornography? You, all right, thank you very much. Today, make sure that you allow God to deliver you. Because that was a rotten mind in a rotten body. But we want a healthy mind in a healthy body. Because each of individual is troubled by the sin that he or she knows. 
You can't be troubled by the sins that you don't know. We need a healthy mind in a healthy body. Your language. Some of you, you are full of vaga language. Lack of a healthy mind in a healthy body. Tell your neighbor and say a healthy mind in a healthy body. Healthy mind in a healthy body. If the parents can get young people who is having healthy mind in healthy bodies, they made it in life. Because you are the one who will change the country. And you will be able to change our community. Are we together, Church of God? But this need health mind in a health body. It requires a health mind in a health body. What are you doing in your spare time? You will find that things that you do is not relevant to the things of God. We need health mind in a healthy body. Are we together, Church of God? Think positively. Stop thinking negatively. A healthy mind in a healthy body. I want to get a church of God. Some of you, when you are sitting, you think of stealing. Is that a healthy mind in a healthy body? Some they think about harming others. Is that a healthy mind in a healthy body? Some young people, they also insult their parents. Is that a healthy mind in a healthy body? Some young people insult teachers at school. Is that, is that a healthy mind in a healthy body? Let me say to you, those who lack healthy mind in a healthy body will not possess the kingdom of God. You will not be counted to the saints of God. Healthy mind in a healthy body. What are you thinking about now? The day of God, 24 hours. What are you thinking in that particular 24 hours? Healthy mind in a healthy body. Think about applying bursaries. Think about good universities. Think about good things that will change the world. Do something good. Have a desire in your heart that one day I will be the one who will be creating a software. Some apps will be created by me. And it shall come to pass. Where there is a wish, there is a success. Healthy mind in healthy body. But when you think about boyfriends and girlfriends, that is rotten mind in a rotten body. We need a healthy mind in a healthy body. You must have a plan in your life. Have a dream. You must have a metal picture in what you believe that one day it shall come to pass. Do you have 
the metal picture. Good metal picture. Umanso eso ufleke ta ku December le ni la ku press ama crate mati bia. Ni ni wana bangana ba mina esa e karala. Is that a healthy mind in a healthy body? Church of God. Young people. I love you so much. I'm here to guide you. I'm here to align you. And God said, I discipline those I love. So we must possess a healthy mind in our healthy bodies. This will help you a lot. Let us stand up on our feet for a little bit. For a moment. Shake five people. And say, I wish you a healthy mind in a healthy body. Shake your neighbor and say, I wish you a healthy mind in a healthy body.